I was working on my personal site and I wanted a logo of my own. For inspiration, I love my terminal VS Code setup. I'm happy with the way they look. The terminal prompt is simple. Importantly, it's my terminal and that's what matters. This became my inspiration for the logo. This is the design and motivation for this video. Use a simplified version of my terminal prompt as the logo and add a little touch of animation by including a blinking cursor. What is the thought process of a web developer for getting this underscore to blink? In the following examples, the blinking cursor is broken down into three distinct solutions as simple and small React components. I can see how quickly the decision can become to use React state. This is where the pitfall comes in. In such a small component, this might not seem like a big deal, but this is the beginning of a bad habit and will limit skill growth and trajectory as a UI developer. With all of that said, let's see what the code looks like. Solution one, React state. Use state to set what should be displayed, an underscore or nothing. Set timeout as changing state within this component once every second. This should already be a red flag. Again, this is a small example but think of a case where there's DOM or other components further down the tree. Think of state changing infinitely and how it could negatively affect other parts of your application and performance. So what does this code render? It's hideous, don't look at it. Now we would have to worry about solving for positioning to avoid the jumping div. Our list of problems keeps growing. Let's abandon this approach before it's too late. Solution two, this is a perfect job for CSS. The DOM is pretty much the same the difference is this component's simplicity. An animation that changes this div's opacity and goes on infinitely. The component as a whole is very easy to read, understand, and doesn't cause bloat from our framework, unlike the previous example. Oh, that's nice. No additional code needed. We don't have to worry about our JavaScript framework and no jumping DOM to solve for. Our final solution, React Spring. Including this solution is to encourage a holistic animation approach for your entire application. Having smooth user interaction is a must for a high quality website today. React Spring could be used across your entire application and provide an API for high quality animations. Compare this React Spring example to the CSS keyframe solution. Check out the React Spring docs if you haven't already. People eat with their eyes and I know which solution I would pick.